Hey, hey, let's go ahead and get started with the reading for you. Spirit, please show me what is the most important messages the collective needs to hear. Wow, we just got two cards out. What did we get? We got the Ten of Autumn and the Star, and they came out together. This is showing up as you. So money coming through. I think that, you know, financially you're doing all right. It is saying take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones, making wise investments or planning for retirement, honoring family traditions, looking to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So if you've been challenged with money issues, I do feel like you are manifesting much quicker. Um, and I feel like you are manifesting a lot more stability into your life. You're seeing a lot more money coming through, especially if that's something that's been hard to come by. We have the Ace of Cups, which is the Ace of Summer in this deck. And it says, open your heart to love. The beginning of an intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles and the Star. For some of you, this is love, luck, money, uh, career. I mean, this is like having it all, you know, everything that your hearts desire, everything that you wish for turns to gold. It's like you're manifesting on such an amazing plane. I kind of don't even want, oh my God, you guys at the bottom of the deck, look at this. We got the lovers. <laughs> I did say love. True love that is long lasting choices made from the heart a return to good health. Some of you you're getting married. Okay. Or you could find out that somebody just got married or, um, you know, or is coming into union with somebody. You know what? I see these two people. For some of you, this is about family. You could find out that you're pregnant. Okay. I am getting pregnancy as well. Aquarius could be of a significance. We do have the star here. What else do we have here, spirit? We have the eight of autumn doing more research before proceeding education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. So I feel like it's like, even though, um, you know, money might be looking pretty good. I feel like, you know, sometimes people tend to slack, um, but not you, whoever it is that I'm tapped into, even when you, it's like, you're just going to continue working on your Benjamins, you know, center of the reading. We have the emperor using logic and structure to increase your success, getting organized, a firm, but compassionate leader. Um, and he sits right under the star. And then we have the number 13, which is the release card, which is Scorpio. So let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. I do feel like whatever it is, um, you know, uh, okay. I'm going to just say it. Some of you, a father figure could have crossed over, um, or this could have something to do with a father figure and some type of, a um, inheritance from the father. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? Spirit, we've got the Prince of Winter, intellectual, determined, focused, and impulsive. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problems. The need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or expected challenges or changes, excuse me. We have the Nine of Summer. You know what? Sitting underneath the star, the Nine of Cups is actually the prelude to the star. Okay. And it's funny because it says, look at that, wishes come true dreams fulfilled and it says a magical time of life and that's exactly what the star represents is wishes coming true so it's like you know look at all the stars that are around her right she's wishing upon these stars it's almost like you have this like fairy godmother or fairy godfather energy around you okay that could also be helping you through this and it says you know right now this is about you looking to the future now you don't necessarily have to be a man but you could be in the energy of this emperor and you could be looking to the future about you know your success and how how you want to bring in more money for the family and you know make sure that they're taken care of okay what else do we have? We have the three of autumn, following your passion when it comes to your career, being the best at what you can do and being compensated for your creative uh, talents. Bottom of the deck, we have the princess of autumn, happy news about your career promotions or scholarships, well thought out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get going. And sometimes that's all you need, a swift kick in the ass and somebody comes in and says, hey man, I love what you got going on here. Let me work with you. You could be, for some of you, going to a job interview as well. Maybe this is like the career of a lifetime, something you've always wanted to do. Um, there is a person here that is in place of authority. You could either have Aries, 
Scorpio or Aquarius in your top three is what I'm getting top three. Okay. Aries, uh, Scorpio or Aquarius. Also, we do have a lot of earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And we also have the water energy with the Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups is also the Ten of Cups. We do have the Ten of Autumn here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Uh, the nine plus the one is the Ten of Cups. And that is, um, you know, fortune after difficulty. I feel like you know, I feel, I genuinely feel like all your wishes are coming true. I feel like there's collaborations here. There's could be, you know, going back to school for some of you, you could be learning something new for others of you. This is about family, you know, working with the family. Maybe it's a family business that you own too. Um, but I feel all in all, you know, I got this reading the other day, like that was just absolutely amazing. And it had the Empress as the center of the energy and the Empress is the, the counterpart to the emperor. So we, we have graduated from the Empress into the emperor energy. And this is all about working on our structure, our stability, our foundation and family, you know, it's the four pillars of the family. So this is the, you know, the other day was the matriarch of the family. Today, it's the patriarch. If it's not about the patriarch, it is about this um, taking back your power, okay? Being logical about the moves that you're making, about things that you need to let go of. Maybe it's investments that you need to let go of for some of you. Uh, for others of you, this is about going back to school. I see some of you, like other people are seeing you as a star. They're seeing you as somebody who is very uplifting, very proud, very... Um, you could be somebody in your community that people really look to for advice. They look to for um, empowerment even, because I feel like whoever you are, you're a very empowering individual. For others of you, this is someone in your life that you are looking up to and somebody that you are reaching out to, that you are able to get some type of information from so that you can let go of something. This person's gonna help you you know, if that's selling something, maybe for some of you, you want to sell something and this individual is going to be the one to help you sell it. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I definitely am. A lot of pentacles energy here, you guys. Ten of pentacles, eight of pentacles, three of pentacles, prince, princess. Yes, princess of autumn. These are all pentacles energies here. And it's talking about you following your passions. I feel like you're going to have a lot of happy news right now. You could see a lot more success and growth. It's like all your dreams are finally paying off. All your wishes are finally paying off with the universe. And you're seeing that. We have 4-4 four, four here, okay? And we have um, we have the 4-4, four, four, which is the emperor is the number four. And the release is also number four. So if you could be seeing 44, you could be seeing 10-10 ten, ten also, uh, four plus four is eight, and we have eight all the way across the board, and the star is the number 17, so we have eight here, we have eight here, so you could be seeing lots of the number eight, okay, um, and then four plus four is also eight, so eight, eight, eight is what I'm getting, eights are all about material manifestation, so you could find yourself, you know, manifesting on a material plane, but it's saying, like, don't stop. You know, a lot of the time people will get a little bit of a cushion in their account and then they just stop. They just stop everything they're doing because they're like, oh, I'm good. And they slack off and it's like, no, you need to continue putting your nose to the grindstone. It's like, yeah, your wishes are going to pay off and you're going to start seeing success from all the determination. You know, the emperor never quits. The emperor is constantly striving for more. And I'm not saying like, don't take a day off because I do feel like at the end of the day, you do need a day off to go out, enjoy yourself, but also allow things to flow to you. You know, that's what these retrogrades are also all about too, right? The, the retrogrades are, you know, a chance for things, all that hard work when the planets were direct are now paying off with the the planets going in retrograde. So it's like, you don't really have to go running after anything and anything that you do try to run after when Mercury's in retrograde or any of the planets are in retrograde, which we have Mercury, uh, Neptune, Saturn, Chiron, and Pluto. 
<laughs> you know, you can run all you want, but you're not going to have the momentum that you need. And also we have that Mars going to go retrograde by the end of the year too uh, in Leo. So it's like, you know, get as much rest as you can, but also allow things to flow more naturally to you. It's like, um, and all the hard work that you put in while the planets were direct are going to start paying off now. That's what I was trying to say. So I do see lots of wishes coming true. For some of you, you know, this is about, it could be also about a love relationship for, you know, this would be love and romance. There's a, uh, you know, you're graduating to this emperor, empress status. And maybe for some of you, this is about finding out that you're pregnant. I'm definitely getting pregnancy here. Um, because, you know, I see these two people sitting here at the bottom, you see them, and then they're looking up at all these little cherubs, right? And I feel like they've known that they wanted to have a big family and the star comes through and says, well, your wishes are coming true. Ta-da. And so I'm definitely getting like three children for some of you. This is about having three children. All right. We do have the number three here at the end. So, um, <laughs> um, well, congratulations to those of you who have found out that you are pregnant. Um, uh, how exciting. I think that the father might be a little bit confused and like, oh crap, you know, but I think at the end of the day, um, this is actually a really good thing. Um, I don't know why I'm, for some of you, I, okay, I don't really like to put this out there, but you might find out you're having a girl, okay? Because I am getting girl energy. I, they're showing me the girl here, or you have a girl, um, your oldest is a girl. So that could also be confirmation, your oldest child is a girl. Um, I am getting about you listening to your intuition. Okay. Also, um, I just feel like you have the freedom to go in any direction at this point and you, you, you're closing out old cycles. You're beginning new cycles. Um, you know, when one door closes, another door opens and with having that release card here, um, and for some of you, you are going to have to release that father energy for some of you. Again, my condolences to you. If your father is passing away at this time, uh, you could be getting some type of information. Maybe you, you know, people have been trying to work on, you know, helping him get his health in order and stuff because pentacles can also be about our health. And maybe for some of us, it's like, you know, your health has been dwindling or your father's health has been dwindling. We did just have those two full moons in Capricorn the blue moons and that can be like the end of the father energy you know a father could have passed away in that energy and left some type of um monies behind okay but spirit is saying that they want you to continue to be you know bound and determined it's like using your intellectual side it's like you know getting strategic as to how you're going to you know spend whatever money that you have whatever investments that you have uh, you know, spend wisely. I do feel like you're capable of creating much more. I feel like you're a very magical individual and I feel like you're starting to really tune into the frequency of your own magic. I think it's almost like, you know, people just think, oh, well, I worked for that and I paid for that. And it's like, no, you actually manifested that. Yes, maybe through hard work and dedication, but you stayed focused and you stayed determined. And that's why you're starting to see the fruits of your labor and you're starting to see things work out. Um, I do feel like in, there's a t you're in a time period right now, whoever I'm tapped into, where you're not really hurting for anything and you actually have more than what you expected to have. And I feel like, you know, because of that, you're able to help other people out. Make sure that when you are capable of helping others, um, that you do so, okay? And don't be afraid. Yes, uh, for some of you, be mindful of your spending. I am getting that because you go from the 10 to the 8 to the 3, you know, be very careful of your spending because again, it's, I see it dwindling a little quickly. So by the end of the month, you could find that, you know, you spent a little bit more than you should have, um, you know, but that's why we need to kind of rein it in. And the emperor is one to uh, say, hey, do you really think you should do that? Also, for some of you, you could be dealing with an uh, authority figure at work, okay? Um, or you could get the job as the authority figure. Maybe you get a promotion. For some of you, I'm definitely seeing promotion energy. For others of you, 
Um, this is about maybe there's somebody who is leaving their job that was in a position of authority. This person will be uh, letting go and that's going to actually give you the opportunity to step into that position yourself. Wow, I really like this. So I feel like, you know, somebody seeing you as somebody is very responsible um, and somebody who's, you know, uh, very studious in their work, somebody who is very um, definitely hardworking and willing to learn. Uh, be careful of those earth signs out there. Those earth signs will have no problem taking people's jobs. That's for sure, you know, because they do. They keep their nose to the grindstone. Because I am getting somebody who, you know, is definitely putting their nose to the grindstone and not really looking up, not really noticing that other people are paying attention. Um, willing to learn, willing to pick up the book. I definitely do feel like at this time, if you're wanting to learn something new, go back to school. Uh, of course, we do have, you know, back to school right now as we speak. So that's not much of a prediction. But if you are thinking about going back to school and learning something new, I do believe that that is um, definitely something that would be extremely beneficial for you. Uh, wow, a lot of messages, a lot of positive messages in this reading today, you guys. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help my channel grow. Cost you guys nothing, okay, to do so, and it helps to get me into the algorithm. Uh, if you're interested, check me out over on uh, Facebook and Instagram under the Footsteps to Peace and Peace Unhinged Tarot. And thank you to those of you who have donated to my channel. I love you guys all so much and we will chat again soon. Take care.